What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. This is going to be part six of the 72 volt Ultimate Mini Supermoto project. I finally got the package that I was waiting for for a couple weeks. So today we're going to be putting on the Kelly controller on the Razer MX650. Yes, I did buy two Kelly controllers. One's going to be for this bike and then the other one's going to be for an upcoming project which We'll discuss it at a later time. Here's everything that I got from Electro & Co. So just two of their pre-programmed controllers, which also came with the connectors and pin sets. In case you wanna use your current controller that you already have on your bike, you can just repin it and swap out the connections. Uh, I also got one of their Electro & Co. throttle kits with the built-in speed controller. Heard a lot of good things about this one. They came with pro taper grips. That's Kind of cool. I did not plan on using these for this bike though. We're gonna use this for a later project as well. Bunch of their decals as well. Now it's time to figure out how to hook this up. So a lot of the information that I needed for today's project, I actually got off of Voltron Watts' Kelly Controller in-depth install video. If you have not checked out that guy's channel, make sure you check it out now and make sure you subscribe to him because he's got a lot of great Razor content. Very well edited and very straight to the point. So shout out to Voltron Watts. Here's a rough wiring diagram that I drew up for myself as a guide to help navigate through all the wire connectors on the bike. This represents the Kelly controller with the four plugs coming out of the harness. These are the five posts on top of the controller. Here's the universal keyed throttle with a built-in voltmeter I got from Amazon for like less than 20 bucks. I think I've used those three times already. Universal speed controller and a MY1020 motor. Doesn't matter if it's a Kunray, Weber, they're all designed the same. It has a three phase wires and a six pin plug coming out of it. All the connectors and wires on the Kelly controller are color coded. They're also numbered, so you do, can't get them mixed up really. One thing I don't know what it does is this four pin plug. If you happen to know, please comment it below so we can figure that out. Let's start with the motor. The three phase wires, blue, yellow, and green, hook up to the three posts on top of the Kelly controller. Same colors. The other two posts are the red and the black, or B positive and B negative. Those hook up to the power source for the battery. The six pin plug coming out of the MY1020 motor, it's got five wires hooked up, black, red, yellow, and green, and blue. Those are gonna hook up to the six pin plug on the Kelly controller. It's a different shape, so we're gonna have to swap out the uh, connectors on the non-Kelly components uh, to these connectors that came with the Kelly controller. So we'll go over that a little later. So black on the motor is gonna hook up to black number 21 on the Kelly controller. Red on the motor is gonna hook up to purple number five. Yellow on the motor is gonna hook up to green number 17. Green on the motor is gonna hook up to blue number 16 and blue on the motor is gonna hook up to yellow number 18 on the controller side. And then up to the throttle, there's two small plugs coming out of it. One is a two pin blue and yellow, and then the other is a three pin red, green, and black. The blue and yellow is actually what turns on the bike. So yellow is gonna hook up to a power source, AKA the battery, positive. And then blue on the controller is gonna hook up to pink number seven, that's actually the signal wire that turns on the Kelly controller. So when you turn on the key, it completes a circuit, 12 volts, and that'll signal it to turn on. And then the other three is actually the functional throttle portion. Red on the throttle is gonna go to lavender number four on the female nine pin connector. Green on the throttle is gonna go to green number three on the controller. Black on the throttle is gonna go to black number 20 on the controller. The speed controller, I'm not gonna hook up for now because I really can't find any information on how to hook that up. 
So if you happen to know how to hook that up, please comment below. All right, here comes the less fun part, actually deep pinning the throttle in the motor so we can swap out the connectors so that they match up with the connectors on the Kelly controller. So just as a quick reminder, I'm not a professional. I'm just some random dude on YouTube that's sharing what I'm doing with my bike. That said, these pins are what we're gonna crimp onto the wires after we slide the grommet in place. And then we're gonna slide them into these connectors. And once all the pins are installed, we're gonna lock them in place using these. And these grommets press on the backside against the controller that seals them in place so it prevents water from getting into the wiring. The first thing that I did to the motor wiring is cut off the original plug. And then we stripped them down and slid on the grommets and installed the new pins. Now we're gonna install these five pins into this six pin connector. And here's what the final product looks like. Now off to the throttle wiring. I'm also gonna cut off two feet of this wiring harness just to clean it up a little bit. And here's what the throttle side looks like. Three male pins, one female on the blue, and then the yellow wire doesn't get a pin since that's gonna be hooked up directly to the power source. And here's how that ended up looking like. On the male plug, there's the black, red, and green for the throttle. And then on the female plug, it's just a blue for the 12 volt signal to turn the Kelly controller on. And then the power source that's also gonna hook up to the battery. So I don't have the battery plugged in just yet. Just wanna give you guys an idea of how everything's looking so far. It's just sitting on top of the battery. It's not mounted yet. I wanna make sure that everything works before we put all the covers back on. So this is what the connectors look like. And then the posts on top of the controller. This extra wire is going to my voltage step-down converter that powers up all my accessories. If you've watched my earlier videos, you'll understand, but Get three phase wires, ground, and then these two are going to the connector that's going to hook up to the battery. So let's go see if this works. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? So far so good. Mm. 79.9 volts. I don't know why that's keeping. Oh. All right, before I put all the covers back on, just wanna show you guys one last time how it's hooked up. Cleaned up pretty nice. Harness has a lot of slack when I turn, it doesn't pull on anything. It should be good. All right guys, the 72 volt Ultimate Mini Supermoto project is finally ready to rip. It took me a long time to 
get a Kelly controller, but we've got one on there now and it's all wired up. Can't wait to take this thing out and test it out. If you found today's video helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with this project or any of my other bikes, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.